What's up, America? Gas prices, that's what's up. It's your boy, Mess Hall. So this video is just about making quick trips into to certain stores. And we're looking for big flips off these quick trips. You know, uh, I've been busy. I've been a busy man. Not only do I resell on eBay and spend a lot of time doing that, I'm also uh, trying to open my own restaurant. So my time has been super limited. So I've been kind of condensing down a little bit, not being able to spend an hour in, in the thrift store anymore. Now I'm like 15, 20 minutes in and out of there. So uh, you can still find really nice stuff, even in quick trips. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now today I had to run some errands. I went and dropped my mail off, some sales from the weekend. Uh, and while I was out dropping my mail, I wanna make a quick couple little stops to get some things done. Run errands, if you will. So one of my main focuses was to get this done today. Uh, I dropped this poster off at Hobby Lobby and I wanted them to do a call. They call it a dry mount. Hey, keep it clean. Keep it clean, everybody. Dry mount this poster to this board. Now it costs like nine bucks or 11 bucks, depending kind of on what size you're getting. Not too bad and uh, it's easier to hang, you know, hang it up easier. I don't have to worry about it getting crinkled up and all that kind of stuff. So Rich Strike is the horse that won the Kentucky Derby this year. He was an 80 to one long shot to win it. I mean, nobody believed in this horse. Even the owner was like, yeah, he, he doesn't have a chance. Uh, so he barely got in. He got in within like the last 30 minutes of the race starting. Funny, hilarious horse. He was biting and nipping and chewing at people. They put him in the race and the dude won the Kentucky Derby from long shot no one believes in you to champion now everybody loves an underdog story i'm one of them so i had to get this mounted i'm gonna put this up in my restaurant just as a kind of reminder i like those little motivational reminders that the long shots the ones no one believes in no one believes in you and you become the champion so that's that's legit right there. Man, I'm already rambling on. What, three minutes has gone by already? I should've just done an unboxing video or something. You ever seen one of my unboxing videos? We got a green shirt, yellow pants, black shirt, teddy bear. All right, moving on. I had one more errand to run and that kind of led to everything else that we're gonna talk about. So this is what happened. I dropped the poster off at Hobby Lobby back in the framing section. They said, hey, we'll be done in about 30 minutes if you want to come back. I said, bet, no problem. Uh, across the street from the Hobby Lobby is the mall. And right next to the mall is Dick's Sporting Goods. Mm -hmm. So I'd also brought one of these golf clubs that I had found and planned to resell. The grip was all shredded and torn up. So I figured I'd just run the Dick's, have them slap a new grip on there for me cost about 10 bucks to get a new grip and have it put on totally worth it if you have a nice club that you're trying to sell for good money I try to put a new grip on there so it makes the appeal even more spicy for the buyer so i dropped the club off to the dude and he said hey give me about 15 minutes and uh i'll have you patched up i said all right no problem because the cool thing about the dick sporting goods is right next door to dick sporting goods is a Ross Dress for Less, one of my favorite places to source. I love going into Ross to see what they have in there. Sometimes I find some nice deals on shoes, sometimes some nice clearance deals on some clothes, but I really like their toy section as well. So I knew I had about a good 15 minutes, so I went ahead and walked next door and started looking around, and uh, I was able to find a couple goodies in that 15 minutes I was in there. Let's see what we got. So I have these Fortnite figures. This is the Brawler series Fortnite. You see Brawler series. Now this one is Cyclo. And I also got another one. This guy's name is Brutus. So looking at the comps on these things, they're both going for about $35 a piece. And Ross has them for $11.99. So I bought this one and the other guy, $11.99 each. Comps in the $35 range. You know, right there in that $15 to $20 profit margin I like to keep my stuff at. So I picked them up. 
So at this time, I went ahead and went and got my, my golf club. It was time to pick it up, paid for my golf club, regrip. Uh, and as I'm leaving the parking lot of the mall, there's Target right at the end of the mall parking lot. So I decided to run into Target because I wanted to grab some new bullets for my awesome Nerf gun that I found the other day. Uh, if you look at my Instagram, Mess All Days on Instagram, there's a picture of me holding this big mega thing. Uh, but I didn't have any bullets for it. I had to go get some mega Nerf darts for my Nerf gun. So here we are, the Nerf aisle at Target, looking for some bullets for my Banga Blaster Nerf gun. And there they are. Let's get two packs of those so we can have some fun later. And I also like to scan around, see if anything's on clearance. Something I can maybe flip on my eBay store or Amazon. These Batman figures are $10 off. The eBay comps were trash. Let's see how Amazon's looking. I am allowed to sell these on Amazon, and it looks like I'm only going to be able to make about $4 profit off of these, so it's a pass. After I left Target, uh, headed back on across the street to uh, Hobby Lobby, because uh, my pictures sh should be done by now. They got Wonder Woman for $4.99. Oh, we taking that one, Zaj. And your boy got his horsey. Woo! Now, as I've said before in many of my other videos, uh, Goodwill is always on my way home for some reason. There's two different ways I can get home from downtown, and both ways, no matter which way I go, there's a Goodwill right there at one of the lights. So, of course, I had to stop in there. It's unethical not to do that. So, I stopped in a Goodwill to see what was going on, because uh, you never know. It says 10, 15 minutes real quick stop just to see what they have because you never know what you're going to find. For example, the other day I was coming home from restocking my booth at the antique store, stopped in a Goodwill on my way home, was in there for about 10 minutes. Now there are a lot of resellers in my area. I run into them all the time at Goodwill. Now, when I first walk into Goodwill, I usually look around, kind of scope the scene. It was pretty crowded on, it was a Sunday, pretty crowded in there and you know, one of the resellers that's probably my main competition because he sells exactly the same types of things I sell, shoes, clothes, toys, things like that. I walk in, I see him in the shoe section. Now he sees me and it kind of startles him for a second. He's like, oh, here he comes. So what I did is I kind of bobbed and weaved. I hit a little spin move and like blended myself in with the rest of the people and he kind of lost track of me. Like I was camouflaged within the sea of other people into like where the old lady's robes are. And then he just went back to business, right? And, and then when he wasn't paying attention, I caught him slipping because he made one of those reseller mistakes you should never make. He grabbed something and then looked down at his phone and started looking it up. And I said, oh, it's time to strike. So then I came out of my camouflaged environment and snuck in behind him. And snatched a couple goodies when he wasn't looking. Because that's how we do it. But then I ran straight over to where the golf clubs are because no one's ever over there. And I found this beautiful Odyssey white hot putter like that got this super stroke grip on it and uh it was a dollar 99 and these can go from like 50 60 bucks this isn't one of the top of the line odyssey ones but but recent comps are in like 60 dollar range so dollar 99 60 dollar 99 60 easy math baby gorilla style mess all things your boy so today, as I said, as soon as you walk in, go to the right. The shoe section is right. Not a whole lot going on in the shoe area over here. So we went over to this little boutique area the Goodwill has. And I found a really nice pair of boots. They barely look worn. Uh, and something interesting, they're made out of goat leather. Decent price, they're $14.99. Comps look pretty good, so we'll grab them. Over here where the golf clubs hang out, can't really find much going on. But sweet baby Jesus, what is this? How is this not on someone's wall right now? You never told me which wall to put it on. I don't even care how much this thing costs. It's going home with me, baby. 
So make sure you are making your quick trips into your favorite sourcing locations. Even if it's for 10, 15 minutes, you can still find amazing things to resell on whatever platform that you enjoy. Hope you liked the video. Consider subscribing if you want to. It's your boy. We out. Yeah. Sell all my love friends.